this is the real Reginald Angus Argue. I'm a disabled Canadian peacekeeping veteran, and uh, I, I wrote two poems um, recently that I felt uh, compelled to share. I know that my normal video that I'm going to be sharing is going to be on June 9th. Don't worry, it's going to be the Zach as always. And that one, I'm going to be singing a song that I wrote about uh, two decades ago, a cappella style. Now, in regards to these two poems I wrote recently, uh, what's, been, what's been happening here in Nova Scotia in regards to the fire, there's an awful lot of individuals have been displaced. Uh, they're going to they're gonna need help at this time. So it's like my rally call to, to other people, to other Canadians and uh, other individuals elsewhere. You know, there's people that, that need help. So with that said, uh, here's my first video. It's called Brothers and Sisters Keepers. Out of the ashes, we need to unite. We need to come together as brothers and sisters. We need to let the entire world witness our colors of red and white. Utilizing our voices, we shout out that we are not broken but battered and bruised. Still we gather our strength from our nation, which is made up of builders and dreamers. So out of the ashes, we need to unite. We need to hold hands and wipe off the tears from our brothers and sisters as we move towards a new era. Seeing our future is much brighter than our past. So as we move ahead, we feel the power of others from another part of our nation who are reaching out to help the ones in need. So out of the ashes, we need to unite. The next poem that I wrote is called Calls of Canada. The cries have gone out across our seas, through the meadows and pastures made up of golden crops as far as the eyes can see. Over the mountain tops, which stretch out high to heaven above, we can hear the hollows of the breeze. And from the winds, we soar through the streams and lakes dotted throughout our lands from sea to sea. From this, we witness that our adventurous spirit within us makes us unique as we stand as a lighthouse of hope for others near and far. We also know within the night, when we are at our greatest need, that through the darkness the aid will come from the ones we've always stood shoulder to shoulder with. For tomorrow is a new day with untouched opportunities, hopes, and pathways we will follow. And each day we will stand shoulder to shoulder with the ones that are our brothers and sisters from another land. Just wanted to, 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 to quickly say to people, Let's come together. Let's stop this divisionism. Be the positive difference you want to see in this world. Don't be afraid to stand outside the norm. This is the real Reginald Angus argue. And until I meet everyone again, I just wanted to quickly say, be the change you want to see.